Okay, we're going to develop a flowchart that will query the user f for two different variables and validate the, that input to ensure that it is a uh, positive integer. So first we want to um, declare three variables and we will initialize them to zero. Okay, we've set our hours, our pay rate, and our gross pay all to zero. Um, now we want to query the user to, for the number of hours worked. Okay, now we want to check and ensure that our we want a selection statement. We want to check and ensure that um, now there, um, if the number of hours is actually greater than zero, then we want to continue with our program, which will be to query the user for the hourly pay rate. Now we want a selection statement here to uh, validate that input. Now if the pay rate is less than zero, let's just copy this one over and we can change it. The pay rate cannot be a negative or a string. <clears throat> and we will get our input again. There we go. <clears throat> now if the pay rate is greater than zero, we want to continue with our program and calculate our expression. That is done with an assignment box. And we will output Let's run. <clears throat> it worked. Let's run it again and input a negative number to ensure that our program works correctly. I guess technically that should have a for loop. <laughs> Let's do that again. Aha, uh -huh, it should be a for loop. So we know our input validation is not working as we would like. And we can change that. Let's go ahead and put the loop in and then copy these over.
we're doing some some error correction here. Let's scale it down a little bit more. Uh, not quite that much. Okay, so let's put our loop exit condition in here. So you can probably see how using Raptor really helps you start to think like a program. <laughs> you can see your mistakes a whole lot easier, and it's easier to fix them when you're beginning computer programming with a flowchart tool like this, I believe. Okay. Okay, so we've got our loop here into the number of hours worked. And we have our loop. Is hours greater than zero? No. Um, hours cannot be negative into the number of hours loop. Loops around, is hours greater than zero? Yes. Then we're going to get our hourly pay rate. Okay. Is pay rate, let's change that to greater than zero. pay rate is greater than zero, then we want to calculate our gross pay and output it. This one can be deleted. Okay, now let's run. We're going to try, we're going to do our negative part. do it again. The number of hours cannot be negative. Let's um, go ahead and work 20 hours this week, okay? And now let's try negative on our hourly rate. And the pay rate cannot be negative. Enter the pay rate. Let's try another negative. We need another loop, don't we? Okay. Yes, see where I changed the um, selection statement to a loop up here? <laughs> we need to do that again for the second input validation. So, enter the hourly pay rate. If our pay rate is less than zero, we want to change that. If our pay rate is greater than zero, then we want to go ahead and calculate our gross pay and output that value. If it is not, we do want to enter an error message. Um, let's copy this one. Error messages are good. Edit it. Saying the pay rate cannot be negative. Let's go ahead and run. We've already error checked our program, so we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and go with 20. Now our hourly pay rate, let's say negative 25. The pay rate cannot be negative. Enter the hourly pay rate. We're going to say negative 25. The pay rate cannot be negative. Enter the pay rate. Let's give ourselves a raise, huh? All right, we just made a thousand dollars for twenty hours worth of work, and this is, as you can see, a um, a visual aspect of learning how to program and ensuring your program checks are are correct, and um, it works.